Hi, it's Judd here with the Friends of the Mount Vernon Trail. We're going to show you today how we remove bumps from the trail. The trail's been built over 51 years and it has lots of mature trees next to it, and oftentimes that'll cause root thieves. People that bike and run are familiar with the dangers of these bumps, so we've had multiple instances of people crashing from bumps or tripping on bumps and being hurt. Um, so one of the things that we do is remove bumps from the trail. I'm going to show you first the equipment that we use. So this is an Edco CPM8. It's a planing machine. It's got a spinning wheel in it with hard bike cutters. And then we use that, the cutters roll and shave the trail. And it does it about an eighth of an inch at a time. So if we have a two to three inch bump, we have to make multiple passes. The next piece of machinery that we use is the Edco VAC 200. Uh, so this helps keep dust away from the trail. The trail is open while we work. Uh, it also protects us as users, so all of the dust is rocks, basically, and we don't want that in our lungs. Um, so this is a HEPA filtered vacuum that uh, keeps all that dust off the trail. And then to power that, since we don't have any plugs on the trail, is our Westinghouse 3700 generator. Uh, both of these are gas powered, and uh, that keeps the vacuum uh, running show you some bump removal. Each bump can take uh, anywhere from 10 minutes to 20 minutes. If it's a really big bump, it might take us an hour just for one bump. We also wear a lot of safety equipment when we do this. So the first is reflective vests. I've got safety glasses on and we also have safety triangles out to block off the trail where we're working. And I also wear these hearing protections with a built-in microphone and that way we can communicate when trail users are approaching. So let's go ahead and fire it up. And now we're finished. If you really like the work that we're doing on the trail to remove bumps and improve the trail in other ways, please make sure to volunteer or donate to us. You can go to mountvernontrail.org to do both. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe.